Hello, David Clark here from DVC Training. I want to do a short video here about the new features that are in EDIUS 8.5. 8.5 came out in April 2017, and it's got some really nice stuff in it, although mostly what it is is just improving what's already there. So we've got a couple of new features, but actually the biggest things that have been improved is they've improved the way of exporting H.264 based files like MP4 and AVC HD and Blu-ray discs. They've made that faster and better quality. They support new file types like H.265 clips from the GH5 camera. And they've more or less completed all the work on making sure that EDIUS now works properly on a 4K screen. That's a 4K computer screen. There's a nice small change in the audio mixer and also a nice little change in the primary color corrector. So we're going to take a look at all of those. And then in a separate video, I'll be looking at the changes in Mink. Mink is the new name for the Grass Valley browser. And they've added a few nice things into that. But we'll look at that separately. So let's first take a look at EDIUS 8.5. Everything I'm going to show you is in both versions. It's in the Pro and the Workgroup version. So the first thing is support for H.265 video, something they did promise in EDIUS 8 when they first released it, and now playback of H.265 is included in the program. Now you may not be filming on H.265 yourself, it's a pretty new format, not many things are using it. One of the biggest things to use it is the new Panasonic GH5 camera. Now to be honest, I haven't got a GH5 yet, so I've got very little footage of it. I've got a couple of test clips in here, which we did actually with a pre-release version using the special anamorphic mode. So because it's anamorphic, everything looks a little bit thin, which I quite like, frankly. That's me looking thin, which would be quite nice. I was just going to click the play button and play it. That's just a clip playing back. Why is that good? Well, if you actually look at these clips, they are actually 4092 by 374. And if I have a quick look at the properties, you can see they're actually made up of H.265 video. So, you know, these are very complicated, quite hard to use clips, and EDIUS is pretty much managing to play them back. This computer actually isn't one of the best that I've got. If I have a look at the properties, you'll notice it's actually using an i5 KB Lake processor. I put them to anything else, they stutter like nobody's business and they don't play at all especially on this computer, which is only an i5. Now, how come it's managing to play this back on the i5? If you're a long-time EDIUS user, you'll know that EDIUS uses QuickSync, which is a piece of hardware that's built into certain Intel processors to help play stuff back. And it's been accelerating H.264 playback that way for ages. Well, they've implemented the same stuff for H.265. It's only in certain processors, so it's only in KB Lake processors. And just like QuickSync playback, you have to have a monitor attached to the graphics card that's built into the processor. That'll be a monitor that's plugged in at the top of the computer, near where your, your USB sockets are and so on. And another monitor plugged into your main graphics card. In my case, it's an NVIDIA 1060. So I've got two screens plugged in. One of them is plugged into the built-in card, which is exactly the same as I do for QuickSync encoding and QuickSync playback. Then I pop into the settings, go to importer and exporter, and this new thing here, HEVC. And there you can see it says hardware decoder and it's ticked. That means use the processor to help play this stuff back. And if I don't tick that, you'll notice it really struggles. Assuming you have a KB Lake processor and assuming you have something plugged into the onboard graphics card is great because it means you can play back footage that is really, really hard work. And this is really, really hard work. Like I said, this is 4,092 pixels. EDIUS doesn't even go up to that in terms of a project setting. So the whole thing's being scaled. It's H.265 and it's still playing it back for me on an i5 processor because of that enhanced playback. Now, so you probably won't have that unless you've got a recent system because KB Lakes have only been out for a few months. Also, if you've got one of the laptops that has got a desktop processor inside of it, that probably won't use it either because those laptops don't actually use QuickSync. On a desktop system, you'll have that setting, you'll have better playback of this kind of stuff. Of course, it also plays back regular footage. So this footage here is just ordinary 4K footage from the GH4, 25 frames a second. You notice it's playing that back as well quite happily on this system. And that's because EDS, of course, uses QuickSync for assisting on playback of H.264. It's been doing that for ages. But the hardware-assisted playback for H.265, that's new. 
Now, like I said, I don't have a GH5, so I haven't got a lot of GH5 footage that I can show you. But the other thing about ADS 8.5 is it deals with it properly. So you can see, for example, here it's saying it's 10 bit, which is a new thing the GH5 does. It films in 10 bit, so there's more color information than there was in the old GH4. Let me just put a GH4 clip in there, and you notice that says, oh, it's 8 bit. The GH5 does 10 bit, and EDIUS now understands that, which is great. You can't export H.265. So if I come up to print to file here, no, you don't have an H.265 exporting option because they haven't put it in there. I doubt whether we'll see that in EDIUS straight away. I suspect it probably won't be in EDIUS till version 9 comes out sometime. What they've done so far is basically to put in the ability to play back H.265 stuff. Now that has actually been added into other programs. So for example, they've put that into Premiere. Resolve's been able to handle H.265 for some time, but Resolve 12 wasn't really dealing with GH5 clips. Resolve 14, which was announced about the same time that EDIUS 8.5 came out, probably will deal with it, but since it's literally just been out and is in beta versions, I haven't had a chance to test it. EDIUS seems to be slightly ahead of everybody else and working with GH5 stuff better than they are and playing it back better.